The first segment of the Hot 7 Nightly News is brought to you by Flo. Tonight, armed robbers cause chaos at the Cots Chaussee branch in Castries. Police arrest two robbery suspects at the Rodney Bay Marina. And the NCOPT holds an emergency press conference to address talks of infected minibus operators. The details of these stories and more coming up. This is the Hot 7 Nightly News with Lovelies and Amy Joseph. Good night. It is Thursday, the 26th of August, 2021. Welcome to the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. I'm lovely St. Amy Joseph. Thank you for joining us. Armed bandits staged a brazen daylight robbery at the Cots Chaussee Road branch at about 2 p.m. Four gunmen reportedly stormed the store, accosting staff and demanding that they hand over cash and personal items. The gunmen were able to make a getaway. The incident has sent shockwaves throughout the island as people lament the continuing spate of armed robberies. Police are investigating this matter. In other news, heavily armed police officers descended upon the Rodney Bay Marina in Grosley on Wednesday afternoon to intercept a rented vehicle being occupied by two robbery suspects in relation to a robbery at Ottawa Ancillary. The two men were taken into police custody. Police confirmed the information. A video of the incident has since been posted to social media showing three police officers in civilian clothing with rifles surrounding a silver or grey car and ordering the occupants out. According to further reports from law officials, it was revealed that both men are from Castries and that one of them is a known career criminal who is fresh out of jail. Both men are currently in police custody. According to the first vice president of the National Council on Public Transportation, five public transport routes have recently been affected by COVID-19 as five bus operators have contracted the virus. One driver died due to contracting COVID-19, while another is in critical care at the respiratory hospital. The impact of COVID-19 on the sector is a major cause for concern. The National Council on Public Transport, in an emergency announcement on Thursday, August 26, stated that a collective of minibus operators have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. Unfortunately, one life has been claimed. Currently, five operators have been diagnosed positive for the COVID-19 virus. One is in critical care and another in serious condition. This is an obvious cause for concern as the public transport sector is majorly responsible for the mass movement of St. Lucians on the island. First Vice President of the NCOPT, Kentry Frederick, addressed the nation on the situation. As we speak, we have five confirmed case or cases of operators who are infected. Um, we had six. Unfortunately, day before one passed away. Um, there is one that is in critical care and another which is in serious condition. So what we did um, is to have dialogue with the Ministry of Health, officials from the Ministry of Health, and also the Root Association um, to sensitize the other operators and then to take preventative measures to, pre, um, to avoid further disruption. Frederick urges both commuters and minibus operators to strictly adhere to the COVID-19 protocols to mitigate mass spread of the COVID-19 virus. Prior to this wave, we were allowed to have three persons per row of sit, and the numbers were down. So which means that is not the, the, the problem, the main problem. The main problem what, which brings us to that is human behavior across the board. And hence the reason why we believe it is necessary that persons should understand the protocols that were set in place. And we wrote a physical letter to every association island-wide to get uh, in that you sanitize your bus, you sanitize your hand upon entry and exit upon transaction with cash, reduce talking during commute, and I will get to that a little later. Uh, um, also, the wearing of masks both by passenger and driver. The NCOPT realizes that this situation needs delicate care to address it effectively. 
and says that the council is weighing its options to prevent an outbreak in the sector. Reporting for the Hot 7 Nightly News, I am Karim Nelson. You're watching the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Stay with us still to come. The United Workers Party calls the SLP administration a party of hypocrites. The Owen King EU Hospital responds to a tragic Hot 7 TV report. And the CMO's twins are first in line to receive the Pfizer vaccine. The first segment of the Hot 7 Nightly News was brought to you by Flow.